Hello everybody, welcome to um, a new how-to series on my channel. Um, we're doing a VCR, as you can see, this is my famous VCR Sony. And my, the reason behind this how-to series on this particular VCR is some people younger than me, or my age, we don't know that much about VCRs. Because these are old pieces of technology that should not be forgotten even in a day of streaming and all your content through the internet. But these should not be forgotten. If, you, if you're looking to get into a VCR, and I'm starting to get into old tech again, losing my phobia of CRT TVs, um, you might want to... I want to get one, a CRT TV someday. You're going to have to take good care of these guys because they are getting up there in age. Mine is from 06, 2006, so it's 17 years old at this point. You're going to have to take care of them because if you look in here, there's a whole bunch of um, mechanical stuff that you wouldn't find on a... DVD player, say, mine is a both, so there's no point in using this, I have a Blu-ray player that does all that, unless you want to use DVD with the old composite inputs, which I'll talk about in a minute, because this video is going to explain the um, VCR parts and how to set it up, not the actual inside parts, just the outside parts for beginners, because I want to do this for beginners, so I'll show you a VHS tape. Um, here in a minute, once I grab one, this is the hi-fi stereo or mono stereo. Hi-fi stereo means it has two, um, red, and, red, white, and yellow. Uh, red and white is just mono stereo. Those are the old VCRs from back, or the cheap ones from the early 2000s when they quit making them high quality. So, what are the parts of a VCR? Um... You got your tracking, which I'll explain how to use when I in like episode three when we actually get it set up. These can be used to adjust the quality of the picture. This is a f actually let's just go to the back here. We're gonna talk about these are your inputs here, and this right here, this line in one. Actually, no, it's line out. Line out is where you'll plug in your cables to your television set right there. And this here, do not worry about that. I'll talk about that in a minute, these two. This is where you'll plug in uh, extra equipment, which I'll talk about in episode two of the series. And that as well. But VCR has four main or two main components in it. The, the, actually, four main components. The four heads. Those are the things that read the um, tape, and there's also a race head in there, too, which I'll explain. Tip and tricks video on the last episode, how to uh, write over one of those tapes that you get like from old movies like Walt Disney that I never watch anymore. Um, this here, this antenna, it might look like the antenna that, that you screw into the back of your TV, but these are analog. These are not accepted anymore in this today's standards, at least in the U.S. I don't know about anywhere else. But these cannot be used anymore because in 2008, I think, they switched from analog to digital. To, um, I, I don't know why, just to get into the digital age, I guess. And these will not be able to be used anymore, so if you try it, I've tried it, it will just say... Please find, please reposition your antenna, whatever. But there are VCRs later than this one in 2010 when they stopped, like, the tail end of VCR manufacturing that were, that, that were, um, had digital tuners in them and you could record DVD on them. Whoops, sorry. You could, um, do that. Um... Why don't you say, I, I say we just get this thing set up. Why don't you say, what, did you, what do you say? So let's get into the process now.
All right, I got my VCR on my lap here. So, what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna take your cables that go wrong ones. Uh, sorry. I'll, let me pause while I find. You're gonna take your cables, red, white, and yellow, which go to the. Uh, let me set the big old VCR down on its so you can see it when I get down to that camera angle. Um, these cables are to be plugged in, um, in the back of your TV. Um, mine actually has a port and it's a new TV. Yours might not, and you're going to have to get one of those AV to HDMI converter boxes. So, oh, uh, luckily I didn't have to get one. Let me sort through this mess here. Um, so what you're going to do, depending on your setup, you're going to plug yellow to yellow. Let me hold on to the TV. White to white and red to red. Most of you probably already know that. Why this go into portrait? I went to portrait real quick. I don't know why. I might ruin the video. Hopefully not. Then I'm going to stick my cords back and back there so I can access them from down here. Then you grab your cords. You grab your cords. Your other end of your red, white, and yellow. This is hard to do with a camera or a phone. You plug into line in. I do not know which one is line in. I think it's the left one. Let me pause. Line out, excuse me. Mine's on the right. Yours might vary, depending on your VCR. I am completely, like, messing up the buttons. But, same thing. Yellow goes to yellow. So hard. Yellow goes to yellow. White goes to white. Red goes to red. And you're all set up to connect to the TV. And um, then, obviously, take your power cord to your VCR, plug it in, like right here, into your power strip or whatever your wall, whatever you do. Mine says auto because it's a auto setting clock, which goes back to the tuner, which does not work anymore. And I'll pa and pause it when I get my TV settled. Okay, sorry for that. I kind of, I might have to join these two clips together in a video editor. But my two things, my my um VCR or my Roku TV is turned on here, and uh. This might vary for you, but you're going to go to VCR. Mine's named that because I named it. But your TV might vary. And I do have a remote for this guy. But I'm not going to use it because most VCRs these days do not come with these remotes. But for future tutorials on this channel, I will use the remote. Uh, you're going to press your power button. It might vary on VCR because some of this might vary... This is for the Sony SLV271P. Power on. It'll come on the screen there. VCR screens are usually blue. It's the DVD that has the interface on it. So, mine says line 2 because that's what I last had it on. And that will factor in on our next tutorial. So, thank you guys for watching. Next tutorial will be approximately on Saturday. Uh, love y'all. Stay... Stay safe and subscribe and like and share this video with others. Thank you, Tekken Video Games, signing off for now.